When the world gives you the gift of a beautiful, sunny, and warm fall day, you listen to what you're being told. On this day, I needed a little escape. There's not many things that clear my mind like a drive through the countryside. Windows down on my old truck, and a turn onto the gravel where the tires on the rocks sing such a familiar song. I was headed to a little spot off the beaten path to sit by the river, down a dead end road through thick trees. I finally arrived only to find I wasn't alone. It's not common that I ever see anyone else at this spot, but I made my way down to the river for some peace and quiet. Despite our drought this year, the water was running fairly smooth. The breeze through the trees provided a calming song as well. I just took a few moments to feel the warm sun on my skin. And sometimes that's all you really need, a few moments of peace and quiet, well until this happened. Late afternoon in the fall has such a special look to it. The soft light is majestic on the landscape. Before the sun went down, I found a few more back roads and one more spot to take in a little nature before dark. A few days later, we made a trip to see family. My nephew's playing football, and yeah, that's him, number 79. And yes, that's also his coach standing next to him. Needless to say, I don't ask him to arm wrestle. And also we took a trip back to Minnesota to see my niece for the first time. Hi. You say hi to Uncle Ryan. Oh. <laughs> she is an absolute doll. Uncle Ryan, I don't like cameras. No, I she did turn around. <laughs> Just a few days later the cold weather was showing its face for the first time here in Iowa. I took another late afternoon to enjoy what's left of the season. There's a little reservoir lake nearby that has tranquility written all over it.
Though I've been here before, I never noticed this little cemetery near the lake. Most of the gravestones so old that they were no longer legible. But when I was looking through my footage, I was able to read this one. Son of F and H Kramer. Was drowned July 27, 1872. Aged 15 years, 7 months, 17 days. These old graves always get to me because I guess it feels like this person's story has been completely lost with time. But that's also what I love about exploring and finding a way to bring these stories back to life. Despite the interstate being just off in the distance, I'm always amazed how many people don't take advantage of the beauty around them. Dreams in the sand Remembering where we began A few back roads later, I was just about to put my camera away when I got the final shot for the day it turned out to be one of my favorites. We'll get there one day at a time. One day at a time. We'll get there one day at a time. When we're together, the world comes alive. Every color shining so bright. When you think about it, we're all on a journey like this leaf down the river. Just trying to enjoy the ride. <laughs>